Hey guys, good to be back with you for another daily devotional. Welcome to uh, winter in Ohio and January here in Ohio. Man, this is rough. You know, for my money, I'd much rather have uh, I'd much rather have a foot of snow than two inches of mud. But uh, you gotta take what you can get. So, hey, I want to show you something. Uh, I want to show you. The most any dog owner knows the most important command that you can work out with your dog is the word come uh so let's see what happens here axel come axel come come axel a boy good boy that's a boy that's the most important command that uh anybody can work out with their dog you know if it doesn't come then you got problems uh reminds me of a joke what do you call a dog with no legs? Well, you can call him anything you want. He ain't coming. Hey, hey I'd like to enter into a few uh, of these daily devotionals with you centered around the, the use of the word come in the Bible. And I think it's really interesting that, um, that uh, the word come occurs so many times in the Bible. In the Old Testament alone, for example, uh, it, it, the word come ha comes from two different Hebrew words. One is like, hey, you know, like, come on. And uh, that's where it used 27 times. But the other, other Hebrew word that's used for come is a word that uh, means come, like come here, come close, come to me. And uh, that's used 1,430 times. And I'm just thinking that... Uh, that you know the the message of the Bible is pretty clear that uh, that uh, God wants us to come to him God wants us to come close to him God wants us to encounter him God wants us to experience him because so many times in both the Old and the New Testament he says come and uh, turning your Bibles today to Isaiah chapter 55 Isaiah is in the Old Testament for those of you guys who are newer it's uh, one of the prophets Isaiah was a prophet and I had a lot to say. So take a minute to get there. Isaiah 55, and uh, it's one of those examples of the word come. And in Isaiah 55, verse 1, it says, Come, all you who are thirsty, come to the waters. And you who have no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk, without money and without cost. Why spend money on what is not bread? and your labor on what does not satisfy. Listen, listen to me and eat what is good, and your soul will delight in the richest of fare. I just love that inv invitation in two verses. Don't you just come. He says, just come. And he says, come, because I have something for you. God's saying, come to me, because I have something for you, and it's something that's so good, and something that's just so rich. And, and he says it's something you can't get anywhere else. Why spend money, he says, on what, what isn't food and, or bread and, and your labor on what doesn't satisfy? And, you know, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on in our country right now. And uh, at the end of the day, it's like, uh, uh, what do we really want? What, what are we really hungry for? And, uh, you know, I'm an optimist. I, I think... I think this pandemic's going to pass. I think this uh, this uh, cultural divide uh, caused by so many things in our country right now is going to pass. Um, but I also know that at the end of the day, when the Bible says, why spend money on what is not bread and your labor on what is not satisfied, after God just said, come to me, he's saying, you know, all of our best efforts, all of our best efforts um, are never really going to produce what we really crave because what we crave as humans and as eternal beings is God we just crave God and so would you just stop for a second today and and and, and just kind of get in touch with your true appetite and what are you really hungry for and I, th I think you're gonna find that you're hungry for God that you're just hungry for God and would you just try to quiet down a little bit at some point in your day today and just say, Lord, I want to come to you. I want to come to you. I want to come closer. 
to you. I think that word come is by far one of the most important words that we can learn in our relationship with God. When he just says, come. Axel, come. Atta boy, who's a good boy? Yeah, that's it. God bless you guys. Have a great day.